Oh my god guys, I'm sorry I scared you. I was just practicing my detox. Normally, I start off with some Mukabashtrika, which is good for clearing my lungs and jost me into some deep breathing. I then drop into my moon practice, which is about 45 minutes, and I do this every single day. It just really helps me stay stable, man, and digest everything that goes on in my chaotic life. I learned that every posture in yoga should lead up to a deeper experience of meditation. So the physiology behind that is very calming and very grounding. Then I focus on my breath. So I do some pranayama today. I did Noto Shodhina and then I always drop into a meditation after that. I'm so honored to know the things I know and bow down to this lineage and practice. After that, I'll do about 10 to 15 minutes of pineapple worshiping, which just involves a leaf massage, some cyclical breathing, you know, release of the spines. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I cherish how much every single day here is teaching me and these precious connections I've been making. I just wanted to share that it's like been such a human vlog and I really feel connection has been my medicine lately. I've been manifesting my spirituality. It's just one of my favorite things to do. It's just like so good to absorb something positive. Just explore how you can unleash something within you, whether it's your mind, your body, your soul. This sounds pretty deep, but I genuinely feel everything we're absorbing in our realities has an effect on us. I just put something positive in it that will help shape your perspective. Uh, one of my favorite experiences on this planet is just absorbing something beautiful. Uh, let's get something to eat because I am starving. Guys, like I am so hungry. Oh my God, hey guys. You just caught me charging my lemon water. So let me fill you honeys in. Now, keep in mind, this can only be done at certain times of the year to be effective. As the UV index isn't high enough outside of the spring and summer months, but since it's like a really sunny day in December, it still charges the water a little bit. So when you leave the water out in the sun like this, it becomes one with nature. It like totally alkalizes your body and purifies the spirit. Is that my teeth corroding? You guys can use my discount code for these bowl mason jars at imabasicvegan.com. The discount code is fairyboyfrankie. Oh my god guys, I am so excited for my first meal. It's super duper healthy. So normally I have like Kellogg's cornflakes with apple juice like Dr. John McDougall told me uh, because it's like low fat and oil free. But I've been having some tummy issues lately. So what I've been doing is instead of the cornflakes, I'll have some uh, charcoal. Uh, it's pretty tasty actually. So I take some charcoal and I put it in the bowl and then I just take the apple juice and just like any order, any sort of cereal. And the, oh guys, that those eggs and that meat, that's like, that's like totally not mine. All that dairy, that honey, that's like not mine. That's my family's. Uh, so don't worry about that. And look at that guys. That looks so good. You know, I, I thought you needed milk for strong bones, but uh, but that can't be true. I mean, Dr. McDougall did have some bone fractures, and milk does have vitamins D3 and K2, which promote bone health. Uh, but that can't be right because like milk is just like animal excrement. It's like for baby cows. Did I show you guys my new pet? His name is Googles, and he is just my favorite. I 
just had my breakfast, but I'm still a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna show you guys a smoothie recipe that John Venus taught me. Uh, so all you need is some eggs. Uh, these are chicken eggs. Oh. And some organic blueberries. So I like to do this Arnold Schwarzenegger style. So I put the egg in the blender. And then just some blueberries. And then just blend it up. Alright, so it's kind of like frozen, more like an acai ball. So we're just gonna go eat this while in a nice warm bath. This is like my number one vegan trick. So us vegans love like really cold freezing foods uh, because when you're anemic, you're lacking red blood cells, which means you're lacking blood flowing to your brain. So we crave like really cold foods because when you eat something cold, it like shocks your brain. Uh, so what I do is I get like a nice warm bath, all like bundled up, like really warm and cozy. And then I get to enjoy my favorite John Venus egg blueberry smoothie. I'm still just a little bit hungry after that smoothie bowl, so we're just gonna slice up an apple. And guys, be sure to eat the skin to get extra agrochemicals, like the herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides that are totally not bad for us. I am so sad. Whole Foods is completely out of eggplant. So me and my boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend, are gonna have to sit on some, I mean eat some pineapples later instead of, uh, instead of eggplant like we normally do. And like the price wouldn't even have been that big of a deal. Like even if they were more expensive because of winter, because my boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend, lets me put everything on her credit card for being a good male feminist. And I mean, even though I can't satisfy her in bed, I mean, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm like lacking some nutrients in my diet, but uh, no, that can't be right. I mean, because veganism is supposed to be better for male fertility, right? Uh, despite there being no vegan civilizations ever throughout human history, but that can't be right. Oh my God, guys, I am just starving. Like, I am so hungry. Uh, so for lunch, we're gonna have my favorite meal. Now, I used to love grilled cheese because I love boys, I mean girls, that have stinky feet. And that's actually why I'm vegan, because I like really stinky people. Uh, but today we're making a grilled tofu sandwich uh, with cottonseed oil, uh, tofu, and Dave's killer bread. Uh, this is my favorite because it really kills your stomach lining. Um, and uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, cottonseed oil used to be used as machine lubricant, but since the USDA and the Dietetics Association say vegetable oils are good for you, I'm gonna appeal to authority and listen to them. I mean, I just love anything with nuts. Nut. Fat nuts. Thick fat nuts. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the cottonseed oil in the pan. And then we're gonna put in the tofu. What we wanna do is make this block of estrogenic poison nice and brown and crisp on the outside so that it oxidizes in our arteries and gives us heart disease even faster. So I'm gonna pop this bread in the toaster because all I really crave is the outside crust of a piece of charred meat. Oh my god guys, this looks so good. I just can't wait. Oh my god. You guys have to try this. It tastes just like grilled cheese. It almost even tastes like chicken. Oh, hey guys, I'm just making sure I'm getting in all my nutrients on chronometer. It's like totally the best just to make sure that like you're following your vegan diet properly because like the only people that don't succeed on a vegan diet just aren't doing it right. For dinner, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite and like quickest meal and this is like super duper healthy. Uh, this is my 
boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend's huge, lovely sausage. Uh, so I don't even cook these. And you don't have to cut them either. What I really love to do here is just... I don't think I'm gonna be vegan anymore, guys. My boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend dumped me for this like really handsome carnivore. Oh my god, he's like so cute. I mean like she's so mean. How could she do this to me? <laughs> ah.